Yahoo! It's great you're back! Everything alright so far? Having a good time? Cool! Up to now, we've spoken about the Mediterranean Sea. But now, I want to tell you about some unexpected guests that have invaded my home. Yes, you heard right, invaded, without prior invitation. And they didn't just invade, they're staying and have no intention of moving. Chutzpah! <laughs> The opening of the Suez Canal in 1869 artificially connected the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea for the very first time as a more efficient shipping route between Europe and Asia. Since the Red Sea is at a higher elevation, water flows towards the Mediterranean. The canal's opening created another phenomenon. The migration of tropical fish and other sea creatures from the Red Sea through the canal and their invasion of the Mediterranean Sea. This phenomenon is called Lesepsian migration, named after the engineer who developed and oversaw the canal's excavation. Hang on! Why did they have to come here? Were things so bad where they came from? The Red Sea is higher in salinity and poorer in nutrients than the Mediterranean. On the other hand, the Mediterranean Sea has lower salinity, warmer water temperature, and a preferable water composition. Now I understand, so say that they were looking for better conditions. Since its opening in 1869, the canal has served as a migration route for some 300 new species of plants and animals. No, until now everything was wonderful. It's a big sea, there's room for everyone. What's the problem? Because there are significant differences in the flora and fauna that exist in both bodies of water. The fauna of the Red Sea is tropical, originating in the Indian Ocean while the fauna of the Mediterranean Sea originated in the Atlantic Ocean. Wow, what a mess! Why does this sound so familiar? Over the years, indigenous fish populations have been harmed due to a lack of predators capable of coping naturally with the invaders and restraining population growth. In a number of places, invasive marine life has reached tremendous proportions, creating constant competition for breeding and feeding sites with local species, subsequently leading to the extinction of some species. What? Extinction? Extinction is bad, very, very bad. The harm is not confined solely to its effect on one species or another. Rather, the delicate functioning of the marine ecosystem and its food chain, which is an important link in the lives of residents of the Mediterranean Basin. Today, over half of the marine species captured in fishing nets throughout the Mediterranean Sea are invasive species. Get it? Just like that, without any warning. They came into my life. Invaders. Infiltrators. So what can be done, you ask? That's a good question. This is an international incident. I mean, borders. Egypt. What? What did I say? 